I think we're going to the Bridgerton Ball. <laughs> Pink Paper Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hi dolls, welcome back to another girly vlog. Today is a Friday. I'm sorry I'm talking so low because a pinky is sleeping in the closet. Um, and I don't want to wake her but it is like the afternoon I have already been up as you guys can see I'm like dressed and ready not really dressed but my hair and makeup's done yeah it's 12 41 and I thought let me pick up the camera and start the vlog I was actually going to just do a day in my life and start it tomorrow but I think I want to start it out today so yeah there's a lot going on right now <laughs> um, I'm gonna be filming two videos one of the videos are my decorate with me video so i'm going to kind of be doing stuff in between this video for that video but you guys don't have to worry about that until you see that video today i have to basically i've been planning some photo shoots i think i talked about this before but i have a few photographers reach out to me on instagram and so i'm going to be like interviewing well not interviewing them but pretty much we have a zoom meeting to talk about concepts where we want to shoot location wardrobe things like that and just to get to meet each other because we obviously only were us talking online so i don't want to be like dead in a garbage can somewhere so i kind of want to meet them first and stuff like that today i'm meeting a photographer at one o'clock and it's 12 42 so i have like a few minutes here so i'm gonna try to talk fast as i can but yeah i just did my hair simple everyday makeup and then i'm wearing my lounge clothes you're not gonna see my bottom half so i don't really i am be honest with you guys when it comes to zoom meetings or calls unless it's an audition i really don't care how i look like i will show up to it in a t-shirt which is what i'm doing today have my lounge shirt on and just sweatpants um i will be changing because we are going to attempt to go to the thrift store today i know i said i was gonna go to the thrift store i think in my last vlog but i really do need to go today because i want to go and see if i can find those accessories like i was telling you guys um my dress has not shown up for the ball it's scheduled to show up the 8th and pending that it shows up and can fit me and everything goes well with that then I'll be set if not I'm gonna be screwed so I'm kind of thinking here that I might want to also look for a backup dress while I'm at the thrift store getting the accessories just in case now if I don't find a backup dress at the thrift store I'm probably just am, and my dress doesn't show up in enough time I probably just will not go I probably will find something else to do or vlog for you guys um, what it's saying I only have three minutes Wow so we're gonna go to the thrift store today that's the main thing we're doing today i did go run some errands yesterday and i'm show you guys really quick what i picked up before i have to hop on this call so let's get that stuff well uh, first of all i went back to burlington and i picked up those two pink lamps i said if they're here honey i'm just gonna get them and then see how they look and then i'll decide later um i'm not going to show you guys those lamps because you guys will see them in a decorate with me video i also got some pompous grass for decorating which you guys will see again in a decorate with me video but i wanted to show you guys what i got from burlington yesterday so i needed some razors so i got this pack of 12 precision pink razors now i do have a reusable razor but the razor heads are super expensive i have to order them on amazon they're like 25 dollars for a pack and i just wanted to wanted something really quick and easy so i pick these up they're this light pretty pink color which i thought looked really nice in the bathroom also was needing a new lighter for candles because the one that i get from the dollar store always goes out so quick like i mean you could burn a candle for a week and the thing is gone like all of the gas is out so i picked up this electronic one it's a rechargeable um 
lighter and I thought that was pretty cool it's like you could just plug it in and recharge it I also got it in the pink color I will definitely leave a link to this for you guys on my Amazon storefront I don't know how good it is so girl if it doesn't work out for you don't get mad at me because this is new I haven't tried it yet so yeah um, but if you guys are interested in finding a pink lighter you can find that on my Amazon storefront you guys a lot of the inspiration and things that I get on Amazon and find I curate into these folders and looks for you guys on Amazon so you guys can purchase them too if you're interested needed some new makeup wipes which was the purpose of me going to Burlington so I picked these up in the checkout these were only four dollars they're just like avocado and olive oil makeup wipes I'm not really picky when it comes to makeup wipes because it's just like a white a wet paper towel to me and I'm just gonna toss it in the trash anyway also I got a package um, and this is from AliExpress and I think I know what this is I think this is my phone case so I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up now. I wanted to open it up on camera for you guys. Okay, one minute left. Oh yeah, it's cute. I think it's cute, let's see. It looks cute through the wrapper. Here it is, you guys, can you see that? Oh, it's clear. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's clear with like butterflies. Can you guys see that? And glitter, oh, so cute. I didn't know the side was like neon yellow. I'm not a fan of that, but I guess that's kind of cool for summer because this is my summer cell phone case. That's where I got it for summer. It's so cute, guys. Okay, that's pretty. I'm excited and happy about this. Okay, and also you guys keep asking me like, where do you get your cell phone cases? Where do you get your jewelry? All of that stuff is mainly from AliExpress. Some of it is from Amazon, but for the most part, it's AliExpress. Um, and then um, Good Molecules, a skincare brand, hit me up and asked me if I wanted to try out some products for free. They were like, hey girl, can we send you some products to try for free? And I was like, sure. So I got these products in the mail. Um, I already posted about them on my Instagram stories. I have not tried them out yet, so I don't know how good they are, but I figure I can try them in a video, maybe in a future video. Maybe I'll try them in my night routine video for you guys. And I give you like I'll let you guys know what I think. I'll give you a, like an accurate review. But yeah, the box is so pretty, you guys. Look at that. So yeah, thank you, Good Molecules, for sending this. This is so nice of you. I got the Discoloration Correcting Serum. And then I also got the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I think that's how you say it. I also got... Wow, you guys. So my camera ran out of space So because I didn't dump some footage from yesterday. So... Um, I have to really hurry up. So I think I was on the silicone primer that they got me and then they also got me the overnight exfoliating treatment. They didn't get me, they gifted me. <laughs> yeah, so they sent me all these things. They, they just pretty much asked me my skin type and asked me a few questions about my skin and I answered them that and they curated this PR box for me. So very nice of them. I'm very appreciative because you guys know I am having some trouble areas. This one from a last week that I showed you guys is healing, but then this one popped up and it's fresh. So I really don't know what's going on, but um, I'm gonna try these products and see how they work. It is 12.50. I'm gonna go ahead and get logged in and send this guy the Zoom link so we can get chatting. And then I'll let you guys know like how it goes and like what I think after <laughs> but yeah i'm so excited about my cell phone case i wish you guys could see that oh you can it's kind of like neon green also need to do these nails but super pretty it's so cute like what i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't for summer <laughs> bye guys why am i so nervous i don't know so Let's go to Hello, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Good. Good. Awesome. So, yes, I can. I can hear you great.
we're done, I think. So that went really well, I would say. I think it went well. He doesn't seem weird or like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He seems like a normal person. But as you guys know, I am, am obsessed with like true crime. So I know it's the normal people that are the craziest, but he seemed oddly super normal. Um, he was on his lunch break. So I'm like, he has a job, great. So that, that I feel like he's a normal person. Um, he did say that he watched some of my YouTube videos, so I'm a little bit nervous that you might see this. So I don't know how much is, I'll leave it. But yeah, he's a really nice guy. I actually cannot wait to work with him. His Instagram photos are so cool, so dope, so I'm excited. We're looking at next weekend, and I'll probably see if I can bring you guys with me to vlog that. I'll have to ask him. He knows I do YouTube, though, so he should be okay with it, but I have to ask him. I can't just bring a camera and start filming people. But yeah, okay. Um, okay, so now we're done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, and then we can go to the thrift store and look and see if we can find some assets. But first, I need to find Pinky and make sure she's okay and that she eats. You know what? Actually, something that I need to do that I haven't been doing is cleaning up behind myself. I need to put away all of the stuff that I just showed you guys on the floor. Put away this stuff first. Put away these. You know what? I'm going to have to catch up with you guys once I'm ready to go. So yeah, I'll catch up with okay, you. Okay, guys, so I was gonna wear a cute outfit. I had like this flowy blue dress with this cute white tank top, but I'm thinking I'll probably wear that tomorrow because I'm gonna be walking and this walk is kind of long. So I decided to make it part of my everyday workout walk. Like every day I, I take a walk. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to just get a workout in as well. So I thought I should dress in my gym clothes. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing, but I'm bringing this like, lightweight cropped hoodie it's pink it's cute and i couldn't resist so yeah i'm gonna wear that and then we're gonna go ahead and head out i'm just gonna change out my phone case because i'm just like i'm too excited or you know what actually i'll wait until tomorrow to put it on yeah i'll wait until tomorrow because i think i have an outfit that'll match that really good yeah okay so let's go scott be lying he said it's cold out here. I think he was trying to tell me to put on some more clothes. <laughs> it's hot. Oh no, my hat's coming off. Okay. I'm gonna have to check you guys once we get there. Okay. I forgot to bring my hand sanitizer, so I'm not going to eat the donut. Okay, you guys, this is the drink. I didn't know this, but they were having a free donut day. So with any drink, you get a free donut. So, yay! Know you guys I took a sip of this and right away um, my polyps started acting up my nose started getting itchy and I could feel mucus forming in my throat and my nose so I forgot to ask them for oat milk so this is I'm pretty sure cow's milk so I just wasted three dollars <laughs> it's pretty though but I can't drink it Ugh, bummer look at this cute art yes you can I don't know where the artist's name is so there's a goodwill let's go
we are back from our little walk and girl let me put y'all over here when i say it's hot in california woo, it's officially summer okay outside of the loud noises i love my neighborhood like everybody's out and about they're walking like families people are walking to the gym People are walking to the market. People are just walking in their sundresses. Like people are living their lives and I'm here for it. I'm just giving Pinky some of her treats because I just got home and she's been asleep in the same spot the entire time I was gone and then Bunny just left to the gym. So I'm gonna give her some treats. I have food for her too. She's eating, she has food in her bowl, but here you go pumpkin. One of the things I like to do is mix the treats in with the food. Okay. You guys probably already know my camera died, my camera, my phone died while I was out there. It's charging right now, which is why I couldn't really vlog inside of Goodwill because it just shut off on me. I really need to invest into a vlogging camera. I just don't have money right now. I need to get like figure out my finances first before I can just buy a camera like that but yeah I really need to invest in that I did stop at Subway because I was hungry I've already washed my hands so I can eat I'll show you guys what I got this is the best vitamin water ever just so you know this is the best flavor I think it's like acai blueberry sun chips ah, so excited and then this is a new sandwich that I tried it's called the California Club Y'all know the vibes. Y'all see the vibes. Okay. I'm about to smash this. And then I'm going to pick you guys up and show you guys what I got. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. I was trying to vlog with my camera. But I did go to Dunkin'. And I wanted to try the strawberry lemonade refresher. But they were out. They only had the mango. Every time I go, that strawberry refresher is always out. Because I think people love it. But they're always out of it. So I asked them to try a new drink because I just want to try something new and they gave me like a birthday cake latte and I forgot to ask for oat milk so I couldn't drink it. I ended up just dumping it but it was so pretty. It was also free donut day with a purchase of a drink. Sorry I'm bending down because I'm getting my bag <laughs> off the floor. So I got a free donut. It's in here. I just got the pink frosted donut because I normally get glazed donuts but I looked behind the counter and the glazed donuts was looking a little bit rusty so I said you know what just go ahead and give me that pink that pink donut okay um we're gonna try her I'm not a huge strawberry dessert fan person like I'm more of like caramel chocolate hazelnut pistachio type person if that makes sense girl tell me why like everybody and their mama kept trying to stop me and talk to me and I I'm like listen do not pull up aside of me on the road and call my name while you're driving and I'm walking. First of all, sir, I'm not a, a, walk, a street walker, a prostitute. You don't holler out your window at me. Um, you need to show a little bit more respect than that so you can keep moving. I said, thank you. Bye. Somebody else, as I was crying across the street, cut me off with his car to say hi. Just wanted to say you're beautiful today. I said, okay, thank you. He said, God bless you. I said, you too. Then I get into Goodwill and this man walks up to me and he puts his head in my face like this. I'm like, he's like, um, what's your name? And he sticks his hand out to shake my hand. I said, I'm sorry, do I know you? And he was like, oh, can you take your mask down or something like that? He was like doing like this. I can't really hear him because he's mumbling, but he was like this to my mask. And I was like, I'm sorry, do I know you from somewhere? I, I don't I don't recognize you. And he's like, oh, uh, it looked like he got so scared. And he was like, oh, um, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Um, uh, uh, I, uh, I, I thought you were somebody else I knew. I'm like, so why did you ask me my name and stick your hand out to shake my hand if you thought you knew me? Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> cool off a little bit and then I'll see you guys when I'm done eating okay yeah bye okay hey I am done eating my lunch it was good I'm shocked but I actually did like that sandwich and I'm really picky when it comes to supper because they don't be making it right and I ain't got no time for that ain't nobody got time for that 
but this girl hooked it up I'm happy I was super nice to her and I was like oh I like your nails and yeah that's what you got to do if you want your food to come out right you better start talking you better she's like oh my god thank you so much oh my god so ill. this is our spots for today because it just works I did take off my um hoodie I'll just have this ripped white crop top on because it's so hot my hair back in a bun because i think i'm about to do some housework okay so i did get a package on my way back in i got these little earrings from aliexpress guys i hope you can see them they're just like pearl hoop pearl earrings i thought these would be cute i don't know i'm always getting weird unique jewelry from aliexpress you guys if you you're curious as to where i get them i say it all the time but i'm gonna say it again i keep saying it <laughs> In case someone doesn't see this. Oh, look at how cute. Those are pretty cute. They just look like they're like they're like hoops, but not really. You know what I mean? Like pearl hoops. I don't know. I think they're incredibly adorable. Another surprise from AliExpress. I'm gonna sit right here, guys. I was sitting on this for my Zoom call and it worked. So yeah, we're cool. I also forgot to bring my hand sanitizer, which I like never forget to do, but I did, and my gloves. Normally when I go thrift shopping, I use like gloves, and I saw a couple of girls there using gloves, and you could tell they were like resellers. They had carts full of stuff, and they had gloves on, and they were just... So I am going to show you guys this. Hold on, let me get my gloves. <laughs> Got my gloves. You guys, I'm sorry if you hear me making a weird noise that milk that i drank earlier is still not going that latte i'm telling you guys like i cannot have like dairy like heavy dairy like that i used to be able to like drink it and then like an hour or so later my allergies start acting up and like i'd have phlegm coming out of my throat but now it's like within seconds like i took one sip out of that latte and i was like oh no this is not it immediately i felt phlegm like forming in my my throat right here and then up in my nose so I know that's disgusting but yeah by the way cow's milk dairy um it's pretty much mucus is what it is so I got my gloves on here's my bag I did go to two um goodwills because they're right a block from each other i don't know why they have two stores a block from each other that's kind of weird but i also love it because then i don't have to walk far to the next one so i hit up two of them but i think the trick to thrifting is just keeping an open mind like, i don't look at sizes i don't like a lot of the sizes i got like were large or not my size i don't pay attention to size I do pay attention to color because that's important to my aesthetic, but I don't pay attention to size. I also don't pay attention to if it's a kids or an adults or male or female. Like I kind of just keep an open mind and instead of looking at a piece for what it is, I look at a piece for what it could be, if that makes sense. So anyways, <laughs> did you guys love that thrift TED talk? Did you love it? Did you love it? It was great. Okay, so let's get into the items. I found these cute shorts. Um, and this is $5.99, it's an extra small. I do feel like, again, you guys already know how I feel about the thrift store. They overpriced everything. These are not worth $6. I can find these on AliExpress for three. You guys need to stop playing. Stop playing. I do wish I could have found the matching top to it, but I just thought they were so cute with this Chantilly lace on the end and the pretty pink hearts. I thought this would make a very cute vintage Valentine's Day photo shoot, maybe next year. So I did get that. Hope I'm gonna put this back in the back because I haven't washed these things yet. Then I saw three nightgowns, pink ones, a vintage old lady, and I was like, yes, give it to me. I am not someone who's super into vintage looks. I think it's cool for the aesthetic for photo shoots, but would I walk around in it every day? Absolutely not. It's just not me, it's not my style or my aesthetic. If you're that type of person where you want to dress like an old lady and wear vintage cute girlies, girl by all means be you. Um, but girly doesn't mean you have to be vintage or modest or old like 
that's not what girly means so um but yeah if you're like that that i think that's a cool aesthetic go for it but it's just not me um but i did want to get something for photo shoots so i found this cute pink nightgown and it looked like it was in perfect condition and the buttons are like these pearly pearly buttons so cute and i don't know if you guys can see this but on the collar part the upper part just like little flowers embroidered flowers i just thought this was so cute there's also lace on the sleeve and there is a pocket y'all know how i love pockets with lace on it and i just thought this would be really cute for like a cottage core photo shoot or something really light and airy with flowers something like that so a vintage shoe eight dollars yep this was 7.99 and was in a size large that is going to be big on me but i don't plan on wearing it like a old lady would wear a nightgown i plan on like unbuttoning it taking it off the shoulder it's also like see it's also about the way you wear things and the way you style things you gotta think about it and i'm like i could unbutton this and make this really sexy and hot and it doesn't have to look like old lady so very very cute i did see another one that i really wanted it looked super vintage but it was too worn for me like if it has armpit stains i cannot do armpit stains and also it just smelled like urine to me and i was like i can't i can't i can't so that was all i got from the first store two things and then at the second store which was so much more modern and upbeat i did find one thing when i first walked in it was this little clutch and this was 4.99 you guys isn't that cute and vintage there is a stain you guys can see right there two brown stains i'll have to figure out a way to fix that maybe i'll glue like or embroider flowers or something on it or maybe i might wash this and dye it pink because i do have some pink dye that i'm thinking about on my dye it pink it's so cute but it's so pretty and vintage i don't know if you guys can see like the hardware on this this gold brassy color and inside it has like a little cute pocket and it's satin cream satin but i thought that this was a perfect for the bridgerton ball um i was looking for something a little bit more dressy but all of the dressier ones were more modern looking they didn't look vintage at all and i felt like this looked super vintage so i went ahead and picked that up um and then i was on my way out i looked through everything i looked through dresses i didn't see anything you guys there were some ugly prom dresses there but didn't really see anything so i said let me just look and i saw this color peeking out and i was like well, hold on what is that then i saw the tag and it says y'all see it y'all see it it says nasty gal i was like nasty gal what i have been wanting this for so long and a couple of different brands carry it I'm sorry my nose is itching I don't want to touch my face with the gloves I found this pink painters jumpsuit pockets on the booty okay hello it's like a mauve tone very worn wearable pink and I still have a tag so it's brand spanking new it has the drawstrings in the center for the waist which is perfect because this is gonna be big on me I can already tell and here's the top of it with that button I have been wanting this so bad for so long. Look at the, this is the cuff on the sleeve. Oh my God, can y'all believe this? I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, and the, uh, the tag is on it? Like girl, this just like accidentally got, like who would, who would donate this? I don't understand it. But then when I thought about it, I'm like, eh, we live in LA. A lot of people are stylists and you buy things for shoots. And then if they don't use them or after they use them and they go through it and no one wants it, they kind of donate it. So I was like, that's probably what happened to this girl. But she is so adorable. And it's like the perfect wearable pink. It's not my favorite color, but it's like a mauve toned, very much toned down pink with some combat boots, sis this or some docs oh hey guys so that was everything that i got from goodwill i'm gonna go take this stuff and wash it and sanitize it and yeah pinky's here hi pink okay guys so i think it's probably gonna be it for today i'll probably pick up the camera tomorrow for sure i thought i was gonna have a photo shoot tomorrow but it looks like both of those are getting rescheduled to next week 
next weekend and next week i actually booked a few jobs so yeah i don't i don't think there's anything else to show you guys today i do want to put my bags up because they're on the floor right now but i don't think i need to show you guys that i think i'm gonna go and probably start filming the decorate with me video because why not okay guys i don't even know why i'm sitting here wasting time i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow okay bye. la musique je peux sentir le jazz ça, ça me fait quelque chose et la musique classique ça me fait quelque chose en oh, fait la, la musique classique c'est pour la tête un peu et le jazz c'est pour le corps Yesterday, I think it was Friday, right? Yeah, Saturday, the 4th of June. It is 5.35. So this is the first time today that I'm picking up the vlogging camera. And mainly because um, I have been working on the organization slash decorate with me for summer video, which is why we're facing this way because I don't want you guys to see <laughs> my room and what I've done so far. Um, I have my coffee or coffee girl I always do this I have my matcha green tea latte and my cute Dunkin mug it is a little bit sweeter today than normally I think I should have did two shots of matcha and I only did one shot so next time I'm gonna do two shots and I'm gonna do half the amount of creamer I normally put in the other reason why I haven't really filmed today is because I just really haven't been in the mood to film um, there's a lot of personal things going on with my family so I went for a walk and that went really well I did stop at Burlington and Ross because I wanted to cheer myself up and I thought if I could find that juicy bag that is all over Instagram that terry cloth pink juicy purse I would be so happy <laughs> like so I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I picked up from Burlington and Ross not a lot of things I think like maybe three things we have an umbrella you guys know i said i was looking for a pink umbrella i did find a very cute okay i think they're gone and i think you can hear me now i found this very cute um umbrella at burlington i was on my way out and I saw this and I was like oh my gosh this is by the brand Nanette Lepore and it does have her logo all over it so if you're someone who doesn't like logos like I'm kind of like that it depends on the brand like for Juicy Couture I love their logo I'm not a fan of the crown but I love their logo um, but then some brands I don't want to have your logo all over my product that I bought but it's this light baby pink color and it was only eight dollars you guys at burlington so i said you know what let me go ahead and pick it up if i don't like it i can always return it or if i find something better i can return it but i really wanted this for rainy days and also it is super hot and sunny in california and i thought that this could come in handy on my walks i saw these bb house shoes and i thought they were so cute i am a girly girl but i'm not 
super super frilly especially in the summertime in the summertime more of a modern style type you know girl but in the springtime i love like the vintage frilly tool bows and flowers but in the summer and the rest of the years i'm pretty much modern so i thought these were a cute pair of like plain modern pink but also very girly house shoes and like i said it's by the brand bb it does have the bb gold nameplate and these were only 12.99 i got them in a size 10 because i think these are kids because there's no way you guys my size which is a size seven and a half looks like a four on my foot so so i saw this on the way in the checkout um and it is this really a pretty juicy wallet they did have the zipper one as well like the shape like this but also with the zipper but that one had the crown on it and you guys know i don't really like the crown too much um and i had been looking for this type of monogram print with the brown um for a very long time but all of the ones that i found had the hot pink lining i also found a lavender um what do you call it it's not a tootsie roll bag i call it tootsie roll bag because it looks like a, tootsie roll, a barrel bag and i actually ended up putting that back because i just couldn't think of what i could wear it with and i felt like somebody else could probably get more wear out of it but i was so happy to have found this um and it has the light pink lining you guys know that's my favorite color and it has the juicy couture um logo here that i was obsessed with like i said i'm not a huge fan of like the snap open ones like this i would much rather prefer this zipper but um this was like i just i didn't i couldn't take the crown i did not like the crown so i did pick this up this was 15 dollars at um ross and they had like so many of them then you guys i was on my way out i was just gonna get that one and then i'm like oh god i'm so disappointed i didn't find my juicy bag and i saw a pink strap hanging behind the wallets and I looked and I was like, oh my God, is this juicy? Please be juicy, please be juicy. And I pulled it out and you guys, look what I found. It's the juicy wristlet in the terry cloth. So this is what I was looking for only in the bag form, the purse form. So I'm still on the hunt for the purse form of this bag, but I'm so obsessed with it. And you guys, this was originally $45. On the juicy couture tag from ross i got it on look clearance it was on clearance for eight dollars so i was so lucky to have found this i'm so excited to have this in my little collection you guys i'm still looking for that other bag so we'll keep our eyes out and peels but that is what i picked up for now i love the obnoxious huge juicy gold nameplate oh give it to me but yeah, you guys, that's pretty much all that's going on today. I think I'm going to finish um, doing some cleaning and decorating. And then I'll probably do some planning because I have not been posting on Instagram. If you guys follow me, let's just look, you guys. Like, let's be honest with ourselves and look and see what was my last post. Um my last post was three days ago so that's kind of odd for me i try to post at least once a day to check in but i don't know what it is you guys sometimes i just get like uninspired i feel like when you're in a group of people and everybody's doing the same thing for me it can just be uninspiring because it's just like every everybody's content looks the same everything looks the same and i also noticed that like instagram is pretty much like gone like in the sense of like social the social aspect of like people sharing each other's stuff tagging each other liking and talking and commenting like there's barely i noticed just like in the past few weeks there's barely been any engagement at all barely any like comments at all like there's been likes and stuff but barely even any likes or shares at all so it's just been like a little bit of a struggle i know the algorithm is constantly changing and it's just something you kind of have to keep up with but i just feel like it's pretty much dead i feel like most people have migrated over to tiktok and even youtube more now than 
Instagram, I feel like people are just in love with video content. They don't really care too much about photo content anymore, except for photographers and like brands, like people who are trying to sell things on there. I feel like Instagram is becoming a platform where if you're a seller, like you have to have a product to sell is what I'm trying to say. Like you have to have a small shop or an Etsy shop or you're selling t-shirts or something. I don't know. I just feel like that's the direction Instagram's going in. And I wish it was like old Instagram where it was fun and we all like hung out and talked. But that being said, I am going to step up on to my TikToks starting this week. But yeah, other than that, you guys, like I said, Instagram, I've told you guys this before. Instagram is like my number one top favorite platform. Like I love seeing people's pictures. I love commenting and sharing people's stuff. Like I loved Instagram so much. I think every single platform outside of MySpace, every single other platform that I've had, like Snapchat and Facebook and all those Twitter all of them I ended up deleting because I just wasn't into it like that I did I the culture wasn't for me but Instagram and TikTok those two I love the only thing about TikTok is it's just so saturated and I'm gonna leave that there but yeah you guys that's it for me today I think I might come back later and take a bath maybe with you guys well you guys won't see me naked in the bath but i might you guys know what i'm saying like we might take a bath later but that's pretty much it so i was thinking of doing some nails tonight i might just take a bath and do some nails later but that's gonna be it um i love you dollies i'm gonna see you hopefully tomorrow um yeah okay why am i being like this i'm gonna see you dolls tomorrow okay love you bye hey guys so it is the next day it's sunday i don't know why i keep losing track of what day it is right now i just have the overhead light on and then i have another light in here which i will show you guys in my decorate with me video what i did for that let me turn this on is that better oh, that's like 10 times better oh my god i love it i do look a little yellow because of the yellow the, ah, these liners <laughs> the yellow light um so yeah it's sunday i don't know why i keep forgetting what day it is i think i'm just like overwhelmed in my mind i got zero sleep last night like let me tell you i probably got like t a total of 15 minutes actually let me not lie maybe a total like of an hour throughout the whole night i was pretty much awake um i'm just getting ready right now i put a little bit of concealer under my eyes and then you guys i've just been so stressed that i was like crying earlier <laughs> i don't know it's just a lot going on right now but um so my eyes were like super puffy because i didn't sleep also when i'm tired i notice that i become very very sensitive and overly emotional let me know in the comments below if you guys are like that like if you get hungry or if you get tired do you get like overly emotional i'm already naturally an overly emotional person but when i am tired i haven't eaten girl you're gonna get some tears you might get some you you might get it i'm not gonna put on any foundation or anything like that because i am gonna be wearing a mask i'm going to go get my covid test because i booked a job and i have a fitting tuesday yeah i have a fitting tuesday and then i work a fitting tuesday i have to get another test wednesday and i work thursday so um i just popped on the wig girl today is just yes that's what's happening um i'm gonna curl her because she's really really like dry and dingy so i just use this l'oreal sleek it iron um heat protectant spray and it makes it really shiny and nice and it also holds in place very very well and then i'm gonna use the curling wand but i also just want to put on some a little bit of concealer because i am looking like uh, um, but first I want to use this NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. You guys, this stuff is good. I love it. I've been using um, the Wet n Wild Primer, which I loved. Um, and I also have an e.l.f. Primer that I just my all-time favorite. But this one is really, really good. It's super tacky, so it makes the like makeup like 
I feel like it's like glue and then you put the makeup on and the makeup dries in the glue I don't know but it looks like this like a clear jelly and the consistency is so weird because you can put your finger in it and it's like I don't know if you guys can see that it's like jello but then the imprint will just go back to being flat but yeah I love this stuff it's really hydrating I um if I'm gonna do a full face I'll put this over my whole face but um because I'm just doing concealer and just trying to clean up some spots to go take a test I um, am just gonna do my nose because it's really hydrating and this is honestly the only thing that gets my nose from being dry so my nose is super dry I talked to you guys about this before like underneath my nose and my lip super crusty and dry all the time all the time so if I'm not gonna do a full face I just put it on those areas I already put on um, what did I put on oh I already put on um, what the hell why can I not think today What's, what is that called I'm looking at it oh duh I already put on sunscreen on my face so we'll go with that and you guys I was looking at my eyebrows because you guys know I've been trying to grow them in and this one is just so funky it's just taking forever like this part right here down here this is a vein which I hate because it makes it look like I have a, my eyebrow growing all the way down here but that's not the case this is just a vein right here and then my eyebrow actually stops like right around right there and then this side is growing in so much better you guys see that so I don't know why one is doing why they're doing different but they're always different hold on guys pinky's outside She's with Buddy, or Buddy, uh, she's with Bunny um, getting treats, so she's okay. I thought she was at the door, but she thought. Um, this week has been extra frizzy. Um, outside of that, I have a video to edit for you guys to go up tomorrow. Um, it's this video, which is why we're going to end this video early today. What else do I have to do today besides that? I'm gonna finish decorating my room for the Decorate With Me video. I have, of course, emails and things to go over and get done. And there's something else that I wanted to do today. Oh, I wanted to do my nails, but I don't know now because I haven't, I don't know. I think I should wait until maybe after my fitting to see, or maybe I can do my nails film the video I need to film with my nails and then I could just pop them off and do a different nail for a different, for my shoot. Okay, yeah, I want to do my nails, which I might do tonight. Okay, so that rubbed in really nice. You guys see how my nose is like magically shiny and moisturized now? Love it. Um, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I already used my NYX Gotta Be Covered Concealer underneath my eye, the light color. So now I'm gonna go in this color. This color is like my skin tone. It might be a little bit darker, but for the most part, it's my skin tone. And I like this. It's super cheap. I think I pay like $3 at the beauty supply store, three or $5, I can't remember. But in the Pertina, I know it wasn't more than $5 because I remember thinking, wow, this is less than $5. Um, and it's a really good concealer. What else do I want to talk to you guys about? I feel like I haven't really said a lot. Um, on my brows, I use this NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Oil. I'm just letting the concealer sit a little bit while I um, do my brows. I... Oh... I don't even know what to talk to you guys about right now. So, I'm just gonna do my makeup and I'll probably just speed up this part because I don't really have much to say today. Today is just like one of those days where it's like you need to get things done and not say a lot. Oh, you know what? The one thing I will say is 
I might do a separate like video about this, like a sit down video and update since I quit my job six months ago and tell you guys where I am, how I'm feeling about it. This is like the first time in my entire life that I like haven't had like a nine to five regular job consistently. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to update. I might just do it anyway. Um, but you know, I don't regret it at all. That's one thing I will say. I'll talk more in detail about what was a pro, what was a con, what happened in that video if I end up doing it. What I will say is I do miss the fact of insurance, having health insurance. That, like, if I was to like today or tomorrow go back to a nine to five that would be why because of the insurance i you have to pay out of pocket unless you find state insurance which you guys know that was my plan originally i actually never ended up looking like finding it i i just need to do the work to find it um and i'm sure i'll be fine but i just wish that i had my work insurance and I can see my regular doctor and have my regular therapy appointments with my regular person. And sometimes when you switch insurances or when you go to a state insurance, uh, a lot of the places don't accept it. I don't know. That's what I heard. I don't know. I have to look into it really is what it is. But I just want my old insurance back with my old doctors and my old therapists everybody who already knew me and knew what was going on with me and was already treating me you know for why am i saying this zuri delete this out of the video <laughs> oh yeah that looks good but yeah the one thing i will say was this the insurance make sure that you get on the insurance as soon as you can i kind of waited a little bit and so now I'm kind of feeling the results of that. Okay guys, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do because like I said, I'm going to be wearing a mask. The only other thing that I would do is like cover up my man stash, my mustache. I don't know why, but I will shave it off in the next day. It'll be right back. I'm like, what girl? How are you back already? So for lips, I do kind of feel, I just have chapstick on right now, but I'm probably going to put on my Candy Baby a Lip Gloss by Victoria's Secret because it tastes, yes, I'll be licking it. <laughs> it tastes and smells so good. Like, how could you not? Right now, I just smell ice cream. Oh, that's how it smells like ice cream mm. okay and I think that's it for makeup I don't think I'm gonna do anything else um, I did you guys reorganize last night my entire vanity or whatever you would call this sink vanity underneath not the whole thing but just part of it the makeup part and I think it came out pretty good you guys will see in another video but yeah I thought it came out pretty good so now we're gonna hit these pieces I normally do the front first I don't really pay attention to the back that much but lately I've been starting with the back so yeah you guys I'm just gonna probably speed up this part because I don't really have much to talk about or share with you guys and if something comes to mind I'll like talk about it but I'm so tired today and um I don't want you guys to sit here and watch me do my like entire head of hair so I might speed it up I told you hold it like that and then I hope you kind of let it set in your hand like this that's what I was told okay yeah this light looks good it just looks a little yellow I do need to change the bulb that's how it looks actually it looks good right now without the yellow light <laughs> okay guys so I turned off that light because I felt like it was just so bright in here um, I like it for doing my makeup and stuff because I can see every single part of my face I can see everything but for just filming and doing my hair I feel like it was a little too bright so I turned it off um, it'll probably look good on my camera phone because my camera phone does not read light correctly 
at all. See that? What the heck is that? So you guys, I need to find some new music. I need to create some new playlists, especially for summer 2022. Um, let me know or leave your links to your playlist if you have here on Spotify or something like that. Let me know what music you guys are listening to because I need some new music. And I, I pretty much like all types of music. I like mainly like, of course, hip hop, rap, R&B. I like pop some pop country i like alternative as long as it's not too alternative um yeah so let me know what you guys are listening to um i have to re-listen to kendrick lamar's out new album um obsessed with it but when i listen to it again like let me know in the comments to you guys what your favorite artist is who your favorite artists are I like underground artists a lot as well now that I'm thinking about it. I really do because I feel like they say and do different, like their music is different. It doesn't sound like everything that you're hearing out there all the time. Like I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this artist, her name is Green Tea Ping. Her music is so, like, it's just so dope. That's all I can say, like you have to listen to it to under, like to get it. It's just the way she puts, interprets her stories into her lyrics, like, with the musical. It's just good. It's so good. I wish I had, like, a singing talent. <laughs> but because I love music, I think if I could sing, I'd probably be in music. I mean, I could do other things in music, too. Oh, that one's kind of crunchy, you guys. I don't like how hard that one is. That's the one thing. Be careful if you use this. A little bit does go a long way. Like, you don't need to spray a lot. I think I spray too much. It's kind of hard. But yeah, I was talking about music. I could get into music, like, a different way. Because I really do find music to be very therapeutic. And I really do like it. But I just don't know what I could do. Maybe I was thinking this anyway, actually a few weeks ago, I was thinking this, that I need to get more hobbies. I feel like I don't have enough things that I just like enjoy to do. Not something that I do for work, not something that I do to make money or I do to like for business reasons, like I'm trying to grow a business, but just something like fun, you know, like tennis or I used to roller skate, but then you guys know my car got stolen and the roller skates in my car are gone with it. My helmet, my roller skates, my pads, everything. So I need to buy a new pair. Um, but that's just one hobby that I have. I wanna try something new because that's a hobby that I've had for like a while. So I want to try something new like maybe horseback riding or like I said tennis I don't know um, I tried to learn how to swim at one point you guys I just don't like the water I don't I don't like it but I do know for safety reasons I have to learn how to swim um, so I'm probably gonna end up going back and taking lessons and getting that finishing that um, my only other hobby I would say that's like not like about work or trying to make it as an actor or anything like that like not industry wise I would say is interior decorating I love decorating it's it's been that my whole entire life I love it I absolutely just love it, it just makes me so happy um, the point where I'm actually considering going to school for it which like I said we'll talk about all that if I do the update video on six months post quitting my job <laughs> update um, 
And then we'll kind of talk about where I am with that. I think I talked a little bit about it in another vlog about like going back to school and, and trying to decide what it is I want to do there because part of me just wants to finish what I started and then the other part of me wants to go into a total different direction and I'm like torn between the two things because um, I mean I could try to do both but it's going to be extremely hard so I just want to be make sure that whatever I choose is something that I'm like going to be con like happy with like yeah this was the thing this was the correct thing um so and maybe i can just finish what i started and then also add on a something else additional later i don't know still thinking about it guys still thinking but yeah, let me know what you guys do as hobbies. Like, not something you do, like, you know, not like social media. I feel like everybody's hobby is social media. But like, something like you really do, like, not really do, but something like a skill. Like a skill hobby that you do. Like, it could be something like karate, or Pilates, or making scrunchies, or arts and crafts, or art. Anything. Could be charity work. I'm just trying to get ideas for new hobbies. I feel like I'm growing as a person, but I feel like I'm not growing as much as I could be because I'm not putting myself out there to experience new things and new places, for sure, new places. Like, I definitely need to travel more, but that's gonna come once I become a little bit more financially um, stable. I have to be very financially conscious right now being I don't have a regular nine to five job and until I get one or if I get one I have to kind of just be conscious of that so unless I can figure out a way to travel for free <laughs> that would be a good one but I would love to travel see different places, experience different cultures. I feel like it just does something to you when you do that. You realize how small you are in the world of things and how small your problems are compared to the rest of the world and just everything. And um, it just brings you back down into earth. I feel like it brings you back down into the present. Um, every time I've gone, like even hiking sometimes or I remember when I went to Hawaii and I did the hike through the rainforest. I can't remember which one it was called. Um, I remember when I was there, like everything just seemed so small. All of my problems, everything I was worried about, everything, all the stress, all this, uh, it just seemed so tiny. I was just like, girl, what are you stressing about? Look at this freaking rainforest, girl. Ooh. Oh, I think I sprayed it in my eye. Oh, I don't need anything else in my eye. Ooh. My date is burning. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, I was just like, girl, what are you worried about? Look at this rainforest, girl. <laughs> Look at this. This is so amazing. Like, wow. Everything just seemed like nothing at that moment. And is this still hot? Oh, guys. Um, I don't know. I kind of need that. I also feel like I don't go on vacations at all. And that could also be a problem because I I was working so, so hard all the time. And even though I was working hard and I had all those jobs, like they weren't very, I told you guys, they weren't very, they were like decent. Like my last job was decent paying, but they weren't great. Like I couldn't afford a house. You know what I mean? I couldn't buy myself two, three cars. I couldn't go on vacation because I didn't have the money. So it gave me enough money to pay my bills um, and that was and save up a little bit and that was it. It was I need a real job, like a real career. And I was thinking about this the other day when I was walking because I was walking to the thrift store and I was like, you know what my problem is? All of the jobs that I've had in the past have just been jobs. They've been things that I just chose because in that moment I needed to make money. And you know what I was thinking? Like, it's never a good idea to make a serious decision in a desperate moment because 
nine times out of ten the decision you make is going to be irrational like i re really never thought about like is this the industry i want to be in where is am, am i going to go from here what is my future from this job i just always just took a job because hey i need to make money i need to pay my bills so i'll just take this job right now not even considering the amount of time i had to put in not even considering the amount of um, pressure that it was going to be not even considering the fact that it might be something I completely hated doing I would still just do it just to make the money and I think that was a mistake I think now going forward I should look for jobs that I have some type of interest in and it doesn't have to be the main thing I want to do like you guys know I want to be an actor I'm an actor so obviously you know if I find like a an office job or something it's obviously not going to be like you're not going to be acting in an office but it could be something in that office job that I like about it. What the heck is this, girl? I gotta fix that. I don't know what that is. Um, but I think it's just crunchy. Ew. Um, but it also just has to be like, I had to find the small nuances of the job that makes me happy or find something in that job that can lead me to something that I really want to do in the future and not just be working it for money. Like, Obviously, if you want to be a writer or a actor, writer, producer, like I want to be like an Issa Rae type or a Mindy type, then I kind of have to be in that type of a field, but I have to be doing like something creative. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe the fun part is like, oh, you get to work with writers and maybe you get to write here and there or not even that. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that it just has to be something you enjoy. Like I remember when I first applied at Victoria's Secret and don't get me wrong I ended up quitting that job and not liking it but when I first started Victoria's Secret I loved it because I love the atmosphere I was obsessed with Victoria's Secret that's why I applied there um, I loved all their clothes I still love their stuff and you got to dress up like you had to dress up the girls at the time I was working there, I don't know what it's like now but when I was working there like the girls all had to wear nice clothes like you couldn't wear anything casual you had to dress up we all wore like skirts and your hair and your makeup had to be done and then you couldn't wear your toes out and if you wore your toes out you had to have them manicured and it had to be a certain color and all this stuff like they had us uniform but they made us look like hot bombshell girls walking like it looked like a bunch of models working at the store is what it looked like and um I love that at first when I got that job I was like yes I am like working at Victoria's Secret like I love this brand and I just didn't like my I just grew out of my position I feel like I was working there Ooh, it's not hot anymore I was like what the hell okay I gotta heat it up again I just feel like I grew out of my position there like I was a sales associate and then I went to like a uh, sales lead and then I went to like a uh, cash crash wrap lead which is just like the lead at the registers um, and then after that the next step I saw for myself if I was gonna stay there was to move more towards a um, a role like trainer district trainer like I would train go to different stores and train new employees that was the direction that I would have liked to go in. I would have liked to go more towards cor corporate and less towards the in-the-store sales type. And um, that those opportunities, like it always felt like those opportunities never like came my way or whatever the case may be. I never got the opportunity to do that. And then also the store that I was working at at the time, um, I didn't really like the team that I was working with they kept changing different people and bringing different people in and some of these girls were just so mean and not to to me in particular yeah there were girls that were mean to me but they were just mean to each other all the time like there was always drama and you get a bunch of girls together there's gonna be drama but it was just like to the point where girls were like meet me outside on your lunch break like people were trying to like fight and say it was just so drama and I just did not like the atmosphere and also like the manager the store manager at that time she was like cuckoo for cocoa puffs and I'm not gonna lie to y'all she was racist and like we would all talk about it even the white employees would talk about how racist like we all knew she was racist she's an older white lady and you know those racist people that don't know their races that's what she was she was like a Karen times 10 and it was just horrible 
so I had to get out of that situation but speaking of Victoria's Secret as a whole I actually really enjoyed working there like um, not working. I actually really like the brand and I would have wanted to work for them just more in a corporate type of field and less in a everyday um, associate store type of field. But I still, even with that, I still couldn't see myself like doing that as a career for the rest of my life. It would have been something I probably would have did for like a few years and then went and moved to the next thing. I'm always... I'm always moving to the next thing that's just how I am I'm always looking to grow and wanting to grow I get bored really easily I also pick up and learn things really quickly which also I feel like causes boredom very fast because once I learn something and I and I get pretty good at it I'm kind of like over it and I want to move to the next thing um what am I even talking to you guys about I'm just like I'm wasting time like talk well I'm doing my hair but I'm talking to you guys so yeah I don't even know how that came about but I was pretty much I think the point of what I was saying was I need to find my next job needs to be something that I like kind of enjoy a little bit like in the realm of what I want to do as a career for a while um, and that's why honestly you guys I've been doing stand-in work because even though it's not acting I still get to work in the the industry and I still get to be on set and I still get to Sometimes I get to run lines and do all the stuff that the actor would do and it's kind of good practice for me um, But also I just feel like it's in the it's at least in the field in the industry that I want to work in The only other industry that I would honestly feel like I would want to work in Outside of the entertainment industry would be interior design and I would love to have my own interior design show or come up with my own perfume line <laughs> this on. And then I just lay it like that yeah you guys this is just like a mumbly type of chit chat there was no point to that conversation I just really we're just having a conversation you guys okay y'all are my friends i don't think you guys know that i think you guys think that like i'm just playing when i like i'm kidding or joking around when i'm like you guys are my friends but no i don't really have like a whole bunch of friends like that y'all i keep a very i don't really have no friends honestly <laughs> nope not no real ones Okay, see it's kind of hard, just wavy it out a little bit. Mm, this part looks a little funky, what's going on? Um, I just want to look decent, I don't have to look gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I don't know. And then this part is like completely straight. Uh, there's some pieces in here that I have to redo, like this piece. You see how that just like... But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my random chit chat about a bunch of nothing. Um, yeah. And at some point I want to talk to you guys about my dating life. That my non Well, you know what? It's no point in talking about it because it's non-existent. Don't really have a dating life. At some point, I like to get myself together, and maybe I might want to date. But honestly, you guys, I just don't want to put up with anybody. I hate to be so mean, but I just really don't want to deal with nobody. I am so content with just being alone. I feel like, ugh, I just don't want to deal with nobody. Okay, guys, so I think that's going to be it for me. This is what the curls look like. Show you guys. <laughs> okay, guys, so here's what the curls are looking like. I think they're okay. The back is really bad, but nobody's going to see that unless until I'm walking away. So at that point, you can't say anything to me about it. And I'm actually happy that I did my hair. Um, it's kind of low-key making me want to do my makeup, but I actually don't have time. Yeah, because it's 1026, 
and I have till 2 in between 10 and 2 to get my COVID test so I'm gonna call my lift right now actually and then I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back and I think I'm gonna do my nails today if I do I'll pick up the camera if not thank you dolls so much for watching I hope you loves enjoyed this video I know it was really really chatty and kind of random and all over the place but I feel like that's just how my vlogs are going to be because I'm just giving you guys the raw footage. I'm just showing you guys what's actually happening. Um, so not all the time is it going to be this, I don't know, aesthetic story. I do want to try to do more aesthetic, cute videos. But I just feel like for vlogging purposes, you guys are just going to get the real real. And hopefully you guys enjoy that about my vlogs. Also, my vlogs are kind of long, and I know that. But I naturally just create long-form content. That's just... The type of content that comes out of me and i also don't like chopping up my videos a lot like i hate when videos are too choppy where it's like someone's in the middle of saying a word and it's chopped into another word it's like that is just way i understand like things happen like you might say um or this or that that's annoying and you might want to cut it out but when it's just way too choppy it looks like people are just putting cuts in the middle of everything like randomly i hate that and I know that that's what I would have to do with my footage in order for it to be a very short vlog. So I just, I leave my long form vlogs. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and listening to me and hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram and I'm on TikTok. I haven't been on TikTok lately, but my plan is this week to go hard in the mother no <laughs> my goal is to go hard this week so we'll see how that goes um but yeah follow me on social media also i wanted to just put out there i think i said this before but just in case i didn't if i don't reply to you on social media like if you dm me on instagram or something like that and i don't reply it's not because i'm ignoring you it's legitimately because i did not see it because i replied to every single thing i see also same things with the comments i noticed that some of my comments were just going automatically to the spam folder i don't know why youtube's doing that i don't get it but i heard other people complaining about it too and um if I don't respond, it's legitimately because I did not see the comment. So um, you can comment again and, I, and hopefully I'll see that one. You know what I mean? I, I That's the only thing I can say. So yeah, I'm just saying that to say that don't think I'm ignoring you. I am definitely, I'm not that type of person. Like, I love you guys. I love my friends. Like, I, I'm, I don't even have friends. Like, I love talking to you guys. So like, if I don't reply, that's legitimately why. I like, honestly did not see it. Like. You, I have a better chance at seeing a comment on Instagram than I do at seeing a DM on Instagram. I got into a long drawn out conversation and I was simply just trying to say, hit me up on Instagram if you guys want to keep in touch with me on a daily more consistent basis. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Unless I come back to do my nails. If I come back to do my nails, you guys are going to see me again. But bye for now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You guys, I think this is my dress. I'm not sure. I think this is my dress. I think this is my dress. I think this is my dress. I think this is my dress, you guys. I. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you guys are like, what in the world is going on? I feel so bad. Okay, I think this is my dress. Oh my god. Because there's nothing else I ordered FedEx that would be coming. <gasps> it's my dress! I think it's my dress, you guys. I think we're going to the Bridgerton Ball. <gasps> oh my god, it's my dress! Guys, this is like the best thing that's happened to me all week. J'aime sentir la musique. Je peux sentir le jazz, ça, ça me fait quelque chose. Et la musique classique, ça me fait quelque chose Oh, pas tellement. La, la musique classique, c'est pour la tête un peu. Et le jazz, c'est pour le corps.